CataractCoach.com. Mechanical pre-chop technique using a chopper and a nucleus sustainer. So you can see the nucleus is easily split here. So hydro section has already been done. There's a nice looking rexus. Time to put a little viscoelastic in and go in with the instruments. Here are the instruments. Now you can see what you have here is you have two instruments. One is this chopper, which you can see here on the right hand. Let's get a better view of that. There is the chopper. And on the other hand, there's a nucleus sustainer. So a little bit of a ball tip on the one on the left hand. And all you're going to do is trap the nucleus between these two instruments, and you're able to just chop it into pieces. So you pre-chop it, meaning pre is you're doing it before you put the phaco probe in the eye. Now you've seen other pre-choppers. You've seen Akahoshi's pre-chopper. You've even seen me chop with just a cannula and a chopper. It doesn't really matter what you do, it's the technique. So here you go, place it here just in the subincisional area un inside the rexus, placing the chopper. Now the sustainer is going to go towards the lens equator just opposite. Now bring the two instruments together just like this and now pull apart to propagate the chop. Look at that. Nice chop. Now you can rotate it 90 degrees and then do it again. So again, placing the chopper now right at that hemonuclear edge, chopper and then sustainer, bringing it together and then splitting it. So rotate again now 180, and the other hemonucleus can be split as well. Beautiful. Four quadrants. Hey, we got a Best of Cataract Coach course coming up at the ASC Arrest Saturday, April 6, 8 o'clock. If you're going to that meeting, you better come to the course. It's totally free to attend. You'll learn a lot and have a great time. Now, here you go, rotating the nucleus back and forth, loosening up the cortex maybe. A little bit of a Rosatelli spin there. And now time to remove the nuclear quadrants. So this pre-chop technique is very nice. Looks like a very safe way of doing it. And the nice part here is because it's not using the FACO vacuum holding power, there's really no window of time constraint. Sometimes when we do traditional chop where we're holding the nucleus with the FACO vacuum power, we have a very small window of one or two seconds in which to accomplish this chop. But in this case here, there's no such window of time. There's no rush. You can take your time. The key, though, is placement of these instruments. So a chopper was placed again just sub-incisionally, just inside the rexus, and then the sustainer goes opposite, 180 degrees opposite, around the lens equator, and then the two instruments can be brought together and then pulled apart to, in order to achieve that split there. Now a little bit of coaxial irrigation aspiration to remove the lens cortex. So again, try a pre-chop technique if you'd like. Many different ways of doing it. I even have a video on cataractcoach.com, the website, of where I just used for a resident case, the beginning of the case, a chopper in one hand and just a 27-gauge BSS cannula on the other hand to kind of impale the nucleus and then use the chopper to hook the equator and then just chop it up. And oftentimes for a beginning resident, I may just chop the nucleus into four quadrants before they put the phaco probe in, make life easy. Now, these instruments, I think, are very useful, and these um, look like they work very well. So I encourage you to check it out, give it a try. And you can see this was accomplished with a nice 5 to 5.5 millimeter axis. Here's some hydro implantation of the IOL going in the capsule bag real nicely. There it is. Get that centered up. Beautiful. Remember, our Cataract Coach website has so much great information. You'll love it. Free PDF book, How to Learn Cataract Surgery. You want to learn CHOP? There's a whole book on it. For free, just go to cataractcoach.com. Sign up for the free daily email. You know there's a new email every single day? All right. End of the case here. Irrigation aspiration, cleaning up any remaining viscoelastic, and then sealing up the incision. That looks beautiful. So nicely positioned single piece acrylic lens in the capsule bag. Once the incisions are sealed up, call this today. Notice how the main incision and the para are about 90 degrees apart. I think that's helpful for this chop technique. You don't want your phaco incision and your para too close to each other. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a mechanical disadvantage. So check out this mechanical technique of pre-chopping. I encourage you to give it a try and see if you can add it to your armamentarium of various phaco techniques. And again, remember, we've got an amazing podcast it's every Sunday. It's on all podcast services. I promise you'll learn a lot. It's only an hour. It's a fun conversation with an amazing ophthalmologist every time. Check it out. And thank you so much.